Example 4. Solve a multi-step problem. Temperature. You are visiting Toronto, Canada over the weekend. A website gives the forecast shown. Find the low temperature for Saturday and Sunday in degrees Fahrenheit. Use the formula C is equal to 5 divided by 9 times F minus 32 where C is the temperature in degrees Celsius and F is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, pay close attention to the table and notice that all temperatures are given in Celsius. Celsius here, Celsius here, Celsius there. They want us to convert the Celsius degrees to Fahrenheit. Solution, step one, rewrite the formula in the problem. Degrees Celsius are, are given and degrees Fahrenheit need to be calculated. The calculations will be easier if the formula is written so that F is a function of C. So that F is a function of C. Currently the formula is written where C is a function of F. In other words, Celsius depends on Fahrenheit. So we want to solve this in such a way that F is on this side and C is on that side. So we wanted to say F is equal to All right, so we write the original formula. C is equal to 5 over 9 times F minus 32. Now, the first thing we want to get rid of is this 5 over 9. We want to get rid of that fraction, 5 over 9. So we're going to multiply each side by 9 over 5, the reciprocal of 5 over 9. So on this side, we multiply, uh, we put 9 over 5, 9 over 5 times 5 over 9. And over here, we put 9 over 5 times C. Once again, the reciprocal of 5 over 9 is 9 over 5. All right, now, we've already learned that we can multiply this a couple of ways to, to make it come out the correct way. So we're going to say 9 times 5, that's 45. 5 times 9 is also 45. 45 divided by 45 is 1. So this entire thing is gone. So all we're left with is F minus 32. So we got F minus 32 on this side. Now on this side, we got 9 over 5 times C. So we just multiply that out. It's going to be 9 over 5 C is equal to F minus 32. Now we're going to add 32 to each side. Why? Because we want this F by itself. So to get rid of it, we say plus 32, plus 32. After doing that, we end up with F being by itself because a negative 32 when added to a positive 32 cancels out. So we just got F. And F is equal to, we got 9 over 5C plus 32. So that's what we end up with. 9 over 5C plus 32. So Fahrenheit is equal to 32 plus 9 over 5 times C. The rewritten formula is F is equal to 9 over 5 times C plus 32. Step 2. Find the low temperatures for Saturday and Sunday in degrees Fahrenheit. Alright, so now, now we take the formula that we, that we just saw for. F is equal to 9 over 5 times C plus 32. And then we replace the temperature Celsius into the equation to find the Fahrenheit value. So the low for Saturday was 14 degrees Celsius. All right, there's Saturday. The low for Saturday was 14 degrees Celsius. So we're going to take that and put that in our equation. So now we have F is equal to 9 over 5 times 14 plus 32. Well, 9 over 5 times 14 plus 32. So 9 over 5 times 14 is 25.2 plus 32. 25.2 plus 32 is 57.2. So the low for Saturday's temperature is 57.2 degrees Fahrenheit. We do the same thing for Sunday. The low for Sunday was 10 degrees. So in the same formula, we're going to use F is equal to 9 over 5 times C plus 32. In place of C, we're going to put 10. 9 over 5 times 10 plus 32. 9 over 5 times 10, that would give you 18. 18 plus 32 is 50. So the low for Sunday's temperature is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, now for those of us who've forgotten how to multiply fractions, don't forget the way this should be set up should be 9 over 5 times 14 over 1. And on this side, you got 9 over 5 times 10 over 1. 
and on this side this one is easier to work out because you can cross reduce you can either say 9 times 10 which is 90 and then take 90 and divide that by 5 and you come out with 18 or you can do a shortcut you would have learned in your previous math and that is to cross reduce 5 goes into 5 once 5 goes into 10 twice so now you say 9 times 2 is 18 and you're left with 18 over 1 this one you end up multiplying out the long way and then dividing and you know that because you come out with 25.2 alright now for those of us who may have been confused between this step and this step let's go back again 9 times 5 is 45 5 times 9 is 45 45 divided by 45 is 1 so this whole thing right here cancels out alright now or you could do it this way 9 divided by 9 is 1 5 divided by 5 is 1 1 divided by 1 is 1 once again all of this will cancel out and you're left with F minus 32 now what we also did was we're going to show you once again what's going on on this line here we want to get rid of this negative 32 so to get rid of the negative 32 we're going to add 32 to both sides so what they did was we're going to show you this using the horizontal method so we're going to say plus 32 here and what we do to one side we must do to the other side so plus 32 here so plus 32 here so I just added 32 to this side now what's a negative 32 when combined with a positive 32 that's gone so I'm left with F alright now I got 32 plus 9 over 5 C I can rewrite this using the community property making sure that the variable comes first so I'm going to rewrite this as 9 over 5 C plus 32 but now this and this are exactly the same. Alright, and that concludes today's lesson.